God bless you. Come on, let's give Jesus Christ a hand offering of praise. Amen. Another day that the Lord has kept us. We're about to begin our service and worship. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it. We've come to magnify the name of the Lord. We've come to reverence him. This is his house. And we uh, honor him and we respect him when we come into his house. We respect the presence of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. His presence is here. And we want everybody to just enjoy the service, uh, both virtually and those of you who are in the assembly today. Amen? Amen. So let us sing songs of praise together. Let's clap our hands together. Amen. Let's worship him and let's get into the service today. We're expecting great things from the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Let his praises fill the temple. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Bow down before him. Sing unto the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Let his praises fill the temple. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Bow down before him. Hallelujah. praise on this morning. He's an awesome God, isn't he? Yes. Amen. He woke us up this morning. He started us on our way. Amen. We love to say that and to express our joy and thanksgiving to the Lord for all of his goodness towards us. And so we invite you again to worship with us here at Memorial Tabernacle Church here on the corner of 58th Street, Telegraph Avenue in North Oakland. And we're happy for those who are coming in to worship today to join us in worship. And I want to also invite all of you who are virtually watching, and you can come and worship with us. Amen. The church is open. Amen. And anyone and everyone can come and worship along with us. Amen. At this time, we're going to ask our Elder Calvin King. He is going to come and read for us the morning scripture from 1 John 4, 11 through 12. Let us hear the word of the Lord. Amen. First John 4, 11 and 12. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has seen God at any time. If we love one another, God abides in us, and his love has been perfected in us. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. God bless you. We thank God for God's love. Amen. And this time we're going to 
extend unto those of you who are here today who have a prayer request upon your heart. And those of you who are again watching and sharing with us in service virtually, make your request known unto the Lord. If you have a special spoken, un unspoken prayer request at this time, just raise your hand. Amen. God knows every one of our hearts. He hears and he answers prayer on today. Amen. We want to continue to pray for the saints of God who uh, have lost loved ones and those who are in the hospital for our unsaved loved ones. Amen. For the service on today that God will give us souls for the kingdom of God. Amen. Just to anoint this place and just saturate this place with his presence on today. Amen. I came looking for the Lord to do something great and mighty in our midst. Amen. Amen. Satan, he, is, he, he tries to hinder us, amen. He tries to prevent us from worshiping, praising God. He, he attacks us in so many ways. But we are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. And my testimony today is I have victory in Jesus' name, amen? amen. How many have victory today in the name of the Lord, amen? Amen. 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 God bless your hearts. We're going to ask everybody to stand on today. Uh, hallelujah. God is a good God, and uh, we just want to just open our hearts and uh, give him praise on today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Uh, oh, God, we thank you today for your goodness, your mercy, and your kindness towards us. We thank you for all that you have done and all that you're going to do. Hear every prayer, every request that was made known to you today. Touch our bodies where we are weak. I pray, oh God, that you would heal those who are sick and not feeling well on today. Whether they are watching this service virtually or here in this assembly, I ask that you would reach out your hand today and touch God in the name of Jesus. Bind the enemy right now. Satan, the Lord rebuke you in Jesus' name. We take authority over you and we come against you in the name of the Lord. For you are our banner, you are our stronghold. We put our trust and our confidence is in you. I pray for those who have lost loved ones, those who are in the hospital those who are bereaved on today. Amen. Lift their hearts in Jesus' name. Amen. All of the unspoken requests, you know what's upon our hearts, hear and answer prayer. Come into this place, almighty God. Move by your spirit, move by your power. Work signs and wonders in our midst. In the name of Jesus. Have your way on today. 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 Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Change lives on today. Oh God, you know what is the need is today, God. Souls need to be saved. Rebuke the enemy right now in Jesus' name. Oh God, we just give you glory and honor and praise. We thank you for the word in advance. For what you have given unto your servant, speak unto us, and we will say yes to it in Jesus' name. For we come to hear and to receive whatever you would have us to know and to hear, so that when we leave this place, we will be able to say together, it was good for us to have been here. And we'll give your name praise for it. Through Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. amen. Come on, let's give God praise. My hallelujah, the highest parade belongs to you. Thank you. My hallelujah belongs to me. Thank you all. Bless you. My hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah. Come on, sing that again. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah belongs to you. My hallelujah, my hallelujah belongs. 
Come on, give him praise on today. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 He deserves the praise, right? He deserves all the glory. Amen. Because he is worthy of all the praise, right? Amen. Look at just somebody and tell them he's worthy. Amen. He's worthy. He's worthy. Amen. The Memorial Tabernacle Church has come together by the Holy Spirit for the specific purpose of preaching and teaching the Word of God, the Bible, and about Jesus Christ, God's Son, and to proclaim the gospel of the kingdom of God to the North Oakland community and its environs, to bring healing to the brokenhearted and deliverance to the old place. Come on, say amen to it. Amen. amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. My God, we thank you. And while Sister Tiffany is coming down, we just want to continue to give God praise and thanks for all that he is doing. Amen. And all that he is going to do. Amen. He's a wonderful and he's an awesome God. Um, we will be here on the, as she's coming down on tomorrow. Uh, on the 20, I'm, I'm sorry, on Tuesday, the 22nd, and just a reminder of that, um, we're asking all of you who are members of Memorial and those of you who are workers to please do your best, do your very best to be here uh, by uh, 1030 uh, for service. Um, so we want you to know that we'll be here on Tuesday at 11 o'clock um, at 1030 Please do your best to want to be on time. Uh, Brother Wendell has been waiting for his final rest, amen, for a long time, for a number of days and weeks. And so we're not going to be long. Pastor's not going to be long, but I hope everybody will be on time, amen? God bless you, Sister Tim. Good morning, church. Good morning. I'm excited to see all of you in worship today. We made it to another week, and God is still awesome, and he is still great. So just a couple of reminders, as Pastor already mentioned, regarding Brother Wendell Holtz's service on Tuesday that will be available on our YouTube. But if you want to attend in person and you haven't communicated that to me, please do so on today or tomorrow. Um, another reminder that every Sunday evening at 6 o'clock, 6.30 p.m., we have lift our prayer request before the Lord. Um, for all that we desire for him to do in our lives. And then on Tuesday evenings at 7 o'clock, we have our conversational Bible study. It's an awesome time studying God's word and learning how to apply it to our lives. And I'm going to ask the Valerie to start coming this way. But we are excited because our Hope and Faith Mental Wellness Program kicks off on Monday. Amen. share more about that but we are excited about what God is doing and how he's continuing to move and bless and as I mentioned on last Sunday our daily devotionals are available for the new quarter um, if you need one for March April and May whether it's a our daily bread or the other word today devotional um, please contact me and we can have one of those mailed to you as well so let's give our own sister Valerie a hand as she comes at this time Praise God, saints. We are excited. Um, Sister Tiffany said our um, Hope and Wellness workshop kicks off uh, Monday, and it does, but that's tomorrow. <laughs> so we are really excited. We have been prayerfully um, working on this, and we're just excited. And I'm going to tell you, we have some um, young people that have gotten involved from our church and our, our families and communities that have gotten involved in this and they are excited about it. They don't have the stigmatism or worry about it that we, that we grew up with. They are excited about it. They acknowledge what their needs are and they are excited to share with one another. And um, I praise God that pastor has just given them a, a form to be used by God and to, um, and to help one another heal. And so we're looking forward to it. We hope to see all of you there. If you have not registered, 
Um, if you are on Zoom and you need help registering, let us know. If you are here in the sanctuary, we will be, and not registered, we'll be happy to help you um, register after church. All right, see you tomorrow. Amen. 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 We, we thank God for what God is doing in our church and how we are reaching out to our communities and uh, our community, pardon me, and other communities, surrounding communities, to be involved in this um, powerful ministry of, of the healing of the body, mind, body, and soul. Amen. That's our focus, healing of mind, body, and our spirits. And um, we are thankful for uh, Alameda County and for those who in our city who um, uh, gave us permission in this grant to do this and uh, thought our church would be a good place uh, for this ministry to be launched. And so uh, Memorial know that people are watching us and looking at us, amen? They're watching and looking at us. And I'm proud to be a member, as Brother Elder Calvin said on last week, I'm proud of my church, amen? amen. I'm proud to be a member of Memorial Tabernacle. So let's keep praying and inviting others to be involved as well. Amen. God is good. Amen. I said God is good. Amen. Lord, I just want to thank you. 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 I want to thank you. want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to thank you. I want to thank you. thank him. I want everybody to stand on your feet. Let's thank him like we're happy about it. Amen. Come on. Let's get in worship on today. Lord, I just want to thank you. Lord, I just want to Brother Smiley, take us higher. Amen. Amen. Amen.
God the glory. Hallelujah. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search throughout eternity oh, and find out there is none Sing it with me, people. There is none like you. There is none like you. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search throughout eternity.
the time. There is none like you. There is none like you. No one else. No one else can touch my heart like you do. I can search. I can search throughout eternity, Lord, and find out there, there is none, 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 hallelujah, come on give God praise, come on give him praise, hallelujah, oh hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Smiley, for those songs of praise. God is truly worthy. It's, I'm, I'm just amazed sometimes how much he and I could be in sync. And I was going to try to sing that song, but I was so hoarse today. And he led out on it, and I said, thank you, Father God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 If God is worthy. And let's just give him praise. And I know God has a word for it. Every time I see when the enemy tries to hinder their elder words, I know God's getting ready to bring us something new. Amen. I know he fights her. But, you know, I am so proud of her uh, as a spiritual leader in the church, of her perseverance and her determination to stand even when the enemy tries to knock her down. She's encouraged to stand. And you know, that's what we have to do in these days. Hallelujah. That's right. Thank you, God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I had the blessed, I don't mean to keep you standing, but I had the blessed opportunity to go to the, uh, the Warriors game with my son. And something we haven't did or done, pardon me, in many, 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 many years. And uh, and he sat there and he was looking at me and he, he he looked over and he said, "Are you all right?" I said, "I'm fine." And uh, we walked a, a number of blocks and he wanted to know was I okay. I said, "Yes, I was fine." And he kept looking at me and and he sent me a text the other day. He says, "I just want to know uh, how did you make it through?" How did? And it's only by the grace of God. Keep stand. Church, just keep standing. Just keep standing. And you can make it through. Amen. You can make it through. And so I'm thankful for her perseverance and her determination. And we're going to pray for her strength this morning. Amen. Amen. Come on, the words, and let's hear the word of the Lord. Amen. There is none like you. No one can touch my heart like you. I can suck throughout eternity, Lord. And I find there is none. say thank you because Lord there is none like you Lord we bless your name today we come to give you glory honor and thanksgiving for who you are Lord for what you've done and we say thank you we thank you for another opportunity Lord that we have just to stand in your presence 
We thank you for your goodness, your mercy, your grace. And God, most of all, we thank you for saving us, for just drawing us to yourself when we was unlovely. Glory to the name of Jesus. And Lord, we're still unworthy, but we say thank you for your faithfulness unto us. Lord, we ask you to bless us as we share these words with these, your people. We ask you, O oh God, to let your word accomplish what you sent it forth to do, that it might come forth with power and with clarity. In the name of Jesus, we pray and we thank you. Amen. While you're still standing, I'm going to read the scripture. You know, as preachers, you know, all the time when we preach, we want confirmation. Yes, yes. And we want to make sure that we heard what the Lord said, and I heard it. Amen. So Pastor was exhorting, and I said, okay, so just stop, because I want you to preach my little message. <laughs> and I'll just have to get up here and say amen and sit down. So our scripture today is Revelations 12, 11. And I can read. Revelations 12, 11 says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they did not love their lives to death. Our second scripture is Psalm 107 and 2. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. This is the word of the Lord. You may have your places. I magnify the name of the Lord today because as the word says, he who is mighty has done great things for me. And I praise the name of the Lord. I am going to just share some things with you today. And many times when I speak, Sister Lillian teases me. And she said, I have this little hop that I didn't realize I did. <laughs> and some of my movements. So today I'm going to try not to hop, <laughs> try not to move too much, but just share with you just some things that the Lord has shared with me. What I want to remind you today and just to ask you to do as unto the glory of the Lord is to testify yes. and share your story. Amen. Testify Amen. and share your story. I've had a very interesting week. And um, even on last Sunday, Brother Martin and I were talking uh, before Sunday school, and we were talking about the things that blesses us and how many times we're going through different situations and circumstances. And it's the word of those people that we love, those people that we come in contact with, that just comes to us at the very right time, the very moment that you need a little extra push to speak into our lives. And I began to think about the testimony. And when we were young growing up in the church, we used to have testimony services. And there were people that got up and talked about all the things that they had been through. There were those people that didn't really know what a testimony was because they got up and they talked about when they went to the store and you know when they went downtown, had nothing to do with victory or living for the Lord. And so sometimes, you know, whoever was conducting the service would kind of politely kind of go on so they could sit down. But the people that had a real testimony, yes. that talked about victory in yes. Jesus yes. and the things that they had brought us through. So today, people of the Lord, I would admonish you just to tell your story. Because you know what? You don't know what people are going through. We have to take the opportunity to talk about Jesus. We have to take the opportunity to tell people what we've been through. Because you know what? People th don't realize that the person you see now yeah. is not the person I've always been. Yeah. And there are people that we know, people in our family, people in our neighborhood, that really some of them have a desire to serve the Lord, but they think they can't do it. They think they can't make it. So if you and I would just be honest with people, amen, amen, amen. just be honest with people and tell them 
that this is not the person I've always been. Last Sunday when Pastor, I mean, when Elder Calvin was talking about, you know, sometimes people can be crazy, and I was teasing Brother Martin about that um, because I tell him, you are so special. And he says, well, we're all special. I said, yeah, but some of us are more special than others. And so, but I began to think about some of the things I have done since I have been saved. Amen. And I admit that I have been saved since I've been saved. Amen. Amen. Have you? Yes. Yes. Have you? Yes. There, I had to go back a lot of times and say, Lord, please have mercy. Yes. But you know, we come to church, we're saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, and we want people to think that's us. Yeah. But we have issues. And we need to let people know yes. that there has been craziness in my life. Yes. So the yes. things that they're going through, they will know that if God has done it for, them, for me, he can do it for them. Yes. There are people today that are having struggles in all kinds of areas with their, in their marriages, with their children, on their jobs. So if you have a good marriage, you know what you need to do? is tell them. Right. The marriage that I have for my 30 years, we have come through hell and high water. Yeah. 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 We need to tell people that God has done something for me. Right. The Lord did something in my heart when I went to the Lord in prayer and I confessed who I was and what I have done and who I want to be. Yes. And when we will testify, yes. tell our story yes. to the woman that think that she can't make it. There were some, many of us, well not me, but a lot of us have been single parents. I lost my husband and I have a friend that just lost her husband and I, I was thinking the other day, I need to call Lily again and tell her that she can make it. Yes. Give her my testimony yes. that when I thought some days I got up, I would lose my mind. Yeah. But because of the grace of God, I stand today. And the Lord so saw me through. So what we need to say, I'm not that special. God cares about you. And he cared enough to bring me through. He cared enough to deliver me. So if you would just Hold on a little longer. Just hold on a little longer. God will see you through. And let them know that only God can turn a mess into a message. Only God can take a test and turn it into a testimony. Only God can take every trial that you go through and turn it into a triumph. Yes. That's, right. yes. That's my testimony. Yes. That Jesus, hallelujah, yes. he is the same. Yes. Yesterday, yes. today, and forever. Yes. And that Jesus that came into my life those years ago, he is the same. Yes. And when he turned my mess yes. into a message, he can do the same thing for you. I think of some of the things that since I've been saved, some of the craziness I have done. And I look back now and I think, what was wrong with me? Do you have those moments when you look back and say, what, I, what was I thinking? Or was I thinking at all? And when people look at you, and I think of some situations that I have been in, and there are a lot of people that for a long time didn't think I was real spiritual. Some of them may still not, I don't know. <laughs> but I have always been me. But what I realize, and I tell people this, you know, you're talking to people, well, I'm just me, I'm just doing me. But see, the thing is, what we need to do, we have to be like Jesus. God does not want us to be the same. That's why he tells us that we're the body. Some are like the eyes, the ears, the nose, we're all part of the body, but we all have to work in connection with each other. So with all of my being me, I can't act like I'm crazy because that affects you. Just like if I hit my toe, my, 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 hand, my hand's going to go. It's going to go to my foot. It's because it's going to try to give us support. So in my testimony, 
It's not just about me. I have to realize today that we are workers together with yes. God. Yes. And what affects me, no matter how you feel about it, it affects you. Right. We are the body, and we have to share our story. Psalm says that let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And the redeemed is the concept of something starting out good, becoming corrupt or broken, then being brought back. Demonstr and that demonstrates a real love because there was a purchase that happens after the point of corruption. But see, the good thing, but in God's kingdom when we're redeemed, the price has already been paid. Yes. Yes. It's been paid in full. And when that song, the revelations that said, talking about the, we have been overcome by the blood, the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. When Jesus gave his life for us, he redeemed us back to God. So everything that I go through now, I can take it, all of it to him. And Peter says that we can cast all of our cares upon him because he cares for us. But you know what? People don't know that if I don't tell them. People don't know that if I don't tell them. I had a conversation with the lady at work, um, I think it was Saturday. And I was just sharing me with her, some of the things that I have been through, how the Lord has blessed me down through my life. When I thought I wouldn't make it, the Lord came in, put somebody in my path that let me know that I could make it. And when I was felt insecure, you know, I'm like, not like that person. And I don't know if everybody goes through that, um, but I did. And I think that's another reason we need to tell our story. Because we think we're the only one. That's right, that's right. We think we're the only one. When we're going through stuff, you think, that's never happened to anybody. I was sitting in my room the other day, and as I get older, I'm thinking, I wonder if other people my age go through this. Does that happen to you? Do you ever ask yourself that question? Yes. Did that ever happen? And sometimes I think that couldn't have happened to them. That, they could, that, that couldn't have happened to them. It must be just me. Mm -hmm. So I need to tell people the things I experience. So when it comes to you, you will know Jeanette made it. So I can make it too. So Revelation 12, 11 means we overcome sin and Satan by being saved and born again and living a true and obedient Christian lifestyle. That's it. That's it. That's it. And Christian is a buzzword now. You know, everybody is a Christian. So I tell people that I said, I'm a follower of Jesus. Because everybody proclaimed to be a Christian is not following Jesus. They just believe in Jesus. They believe that he is the son of God, but it stops there. But we have to be followers of Jesus. We have to have a lifestyle and words that openly, that openly acknowledge our personal experiences of following Jesus. But you know, the thing is, is that one thing a testimony does, it cultivates courage. And it's a conviction to share what God has done so that others will be blessed. The power of a testimony is really real. The courage it takes to share your whole truth with your whole heart builds stamina and it fosters a connection with others. When you tell people that you've been through the same thing that they've gone through, they connect with you. Because now they can, like, well, maybe she is like me. You know, she's living for the Lord, but she had the same struggles that I did, so maybe I can go through also. And also, it's a powerful tool in sharing what God has done, and it's continuing to do something in our life. It is important for us to realize the value of our testimony. Not only does it, do our testimonies represent us coming to Christ, but they can also continue to bring others to him where we share what God has done for us. There are people that have been involved in all kinds of stuff in their lives. And I was thinking of my husband this morning um, when I was thinking of this message 
Solomon told me some of the things that he had done in his life, and I said, you did not. <laughs> you did not do that. And he would say, yeah, I did this. And I was, just, I was just shocked because the person I knew, it just seemed impossible. But And then I began to realize why so many of his friends that he had grown up with, they always kind of gravitated to him. He did not separate himself from his friends. And there's this one man that we know, he always had um, different kind of parties. He would have a gumbo party, this and that. And he was totally the opposite of Solomon. And he was loud and, you know, he had very colorful language sometimes. And, and I was just shocked because Solomon said, well, we're going to his house. And I'm like, I'm not going. And uh, so he would go by himself. But this man loved my husband. And he, oh, he never changed. He never de deviated from his stance, from his testimony, but it made such a difference in the lives of those men that he interacted with. Yes. And he lived out his testimony. Yes. And that's what the Lord wants us to do. We need to tell people what's happening in our lives today. Admit you had struggles living for the Lord and that it was challenging. People think, oh, you know, I've got saved and we think life is gonna be a bed of roses from here to eternity. That's not true. Amen. Sister Pierre and I was talking this morning. There were some days, you know, I want to call pastor and I was like, I can't come. <laughs> and there are some Sundays I get up and I have so many challenges and so many struggles. I don't want to come. People need to know that. They were like, well, you know, I was going to go, but I said, but you need to get up and go. They said, but you always go to church, but that's not because I always want to. Right. 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 But it's because I know I need to. Right. It's my responsibility to God. Right. It's my responsibility to each of you yeah. to assemble myself together because you never know it's my encouraging word when I come that might be just what you need to hear. Yeah. So if I stay home, you don't know. If Sister Yerlene stayed home, you don't know. Because there have been times that I have come with all of my issues, my struggles, and different one of you have spoken to my life. You didn't know that I was struggling. Glory to the name of Jesus. You didn't know that I was having a challenge, but the Lord did. And he strategically placed people in the way just to encourage you, to let you know that I am a very present God, a very present help in the time of trouble. If you would just hold on a little longer, I am the God that works the impossible, and there is nothing too hard for me to do. I can do the impossible. But if I hold my testimony, if you hold your testimony, if you do not share, the world goes on thinking that there is no hope. Jesus said, tell them. I'm going to share this with you that I'm going to be done. I was thinking of that scripture in Mark 5 um, when Jesus met the man that had the demons, and they were called legions because he had many. Let's go there if you don't mind. Mark 5. And I'm going to read this, then I'm going to turn you in the hands of pastor. Mark 5. I'm not even going to read all of this. I will start at... I'll start at 15. Then they came to Jesus and saw the one who had been demon possessed and had the legion, sitting and clothed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. And those who saw it told them how it happened to him who had been demon possessed and about the swine. Then they began to plead with him to depart from their region 
And when he got into the boat, he who had been demon-possessed begged him that he might be with him. Now this is what Jesus did. However, Jesus did not permit him, but said to him, go home to your friends and tell them what great things the Lord has done for you and how he has had compassion on you. And he departed and began to proclaim in Decapolis all that Jesus had done for him and all marveled. He began to testify. Yes. He shared his testimony about how he was bound, how he was demon possessed, but Jesus came by. Yes. Glory to the name of the Lord and set him free. And this is just what the Lord requires of us. That if we would just tell our story, maybe you weren't demon possessed, but you needed salvation. Maybe you were not demon possessed, but some days you had a real bad attitude. Yeah. You were not demon possessed, but sometimes you acted like you did not know the Lord and people thought you had an issue, yeah. that you had problems. But when we will tell them, since Jesus came into my heart, what a wonderful change has come over me. But people need to know that every day we're changing. When you come to the Lord, you don't get all that you need. It's just like when you eat. You eat today, but you need to eat again tomorrow. And that's the worst the way it is with serving the Lord. We feast on the word of the Lord. We spend our time in prayer and in our communication with the Lord that we might be strengthened, that we might be fed by the Spirit of God. But people of the Lord, nobody can tell it like you can. Tell your story. Let people know that he came. He came to set us free. Tell them that he loves them. And that because of Jesus and what he has done for me, he will do the same thing for you. Tell them that he came to set all of us free that we might be workers together with God. And if I can stand, so can you. Be blessed in the name of the Lord. You're now in the hands of our pastor. Amen. The old saints had a song they used to sing. Believe I'll testify while I had the chance. Believe I'll testify while I have this chance. Oh, I believe I'll testify while I have the chance. For I may not have this chance anymore. Oh, I believe I'll testify. What I have to change. Believe I'll testify. What I have to change. For I may not have to change anymore. Come on, say amen, church. Tell your story. Somebody needs to hear your testimony. Do you know what this is? This is right here. We call it the Bible. Do you know what this is? This is a testimony. New test. Come on. It's the new test. It's a testimony. This, is, this book is a complete testimony. And John says in John chapter 21, verse 24, the conclusion of the John's gospel, he says, this is the disciple who testifies of these things and wrote these things, and we know that his testimony is true. And there are also many other things that Jesus did, which if they were written by one, I suppose that even the world itself could not contain the books that would be written yeah. about him. Yeah. This is a testimony. 
And when you talk about Jesus, you have something to talk about. Amen. When you talk about what he has done for you, amen, you have a lot to talk about. Amen. I love that little saying. He'll turn your mess into a message. Hallelujah. He'll turn your life around. Good word. Come on, give God praise. Amen. Amen. Thank God for you. And I'm just asking that you now will pray with us and pray for those who don't know Jesus Christ. And I pray that you heard this message today because what you have been going through and what you've been through, God has allowed you to go through so that you might be a witness for him because he brought you out of sin. He saved your life. When you could have been wiped out and taken out, God spared your life so that you might see another day to be a witness for him. Amen? I'm going to ask everybody to stand here today. And I know I, I was telling Sister Tiffany after Tuesday night's Bible class, um, after everybody hung up the phone, and I said to her, I said, Tiffany, there... There's a burden upon all of our hearts. I said it is very evident in this class that we have a burden for our children to be saved and to know Jesus Christ. I said every parent that I've ever talked to, including myself, we want to see our children know Christ. Amen? And I was, there was a heaviness upon my heart, and I said to her, I said, I, said, I felt it so when that phone, when we hung up and, and, and everybody's face was off the screen, I began to pray. I said, God, hear our prayers. Yes, God. We've been crying out to you. God, save our loved ones. And I believe God is going to do it. Amen? Uh, I want to see it in my lifetime. You know, uh, I, I, I know we always say, well, if they don't get saved in my lifetime, I just want them. I want to see it in my lifetime. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You know, I was looking, she was talking about her husband, Brother Solomon. Uh, his, his mother, Sister Fuller, used to get up in church. Every time she got up, she would say, God, save Solomon. She was always crying, Lord, save Solomon. Please, Lord, save she would be in the choir, Lord save Solomon. Say, that was her testimony every time she got up was God would save Solomon. And God did and made him a great leader in the church. Amen. She didn't live to see it, but he, the Lord saved him. Amen. But I told God, I said, I don't want to leave you. I want to see it happen. <laughs> How many want to see it? Amen. Now, Father God, you hear us today. This message, Lord, for, was for all of us to tell our stories to our children, to our children's children, and to anyone we come in contact with so that they may know the saving power and the love of Jesus Christ. This word came to us to affirm that what you have done for us and all the experiences that we have gone through was so that we might tell others about you. And so, Father, I pray that those things that we have shared with our loved ones, with our friends, with our co-workers. Lord, we'll just quicken in their hearts and let them remember what we have shared with them and let them cry out to you today, right now, Lord, what must I do to be saved? In Jesus' name. There's a power in the witness. There's power in the testimony. There's power in your word. There is saving power in your word. And so, Father God, I ask that you would do it right now in Jesus' name. And whoever calls upon your, your name today, hear them as they pray, forgive their sins, and come into their lives. If we ask it in Jesus' name, amen and amen. Come on, let's give God praise today. God bless you. And while you're standing, our Deacon Jones and Sister Valerie is coming with offering envelopes. And we're asking those of you who are watching virtually to please give. Amen. You know what we say every week. Go on to our website and to one of our giving portals and give your tithe and your offerings unto the Lord. Amen. We need your support, and I know that you are going to help us uh, continue to do the ministry that God has called us to do here on this corner. 
Amen. I thank you for being here on today. I thank you for uh, your testimony and uh, for just being in the house of God. Amen. Amen. I, I'm like Sister, Sister Jeanette. Tell the truth. There, there are some Sundays I feel just like she feels. I says, Lord, I can't do it another Sunday. I say, I, I don't want to go. But we press our way anyway, right? Because we know that there is a word that God has for us and that he's going to bless our lives. And while you're giving, we want to also wish our sister Yolanda Smith a happy birthday this week. Amen. Amen. God bless her. Amen. Amen. I know she's been going through some uh, challenges, but hey, you're still here, Sister Yolanda. Amen. You're still standing. Amen. By the grace of God. And we pray for your healing today in Jesus' name. Amen. And all of you, Sister Shirley, pray for your strength as well. And for all of you who are here, may the Lord bless you and keep you and give you strength each day. Thank you for this time of sharing. And I pray that you will continue to pray for our church. Uh, give us, uh, that the Lord will give us souls for the kingdom of God and give us increase here. Amen. We invite you to come back to worship and enjoy the services along with us. And for those of you, again, who are members of the memorial, I hope and pray to see you on Tuesday at 11 o'clock here for the homegoing services of our brother, Wendell Hope. May the Lord bless you and keep you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. God has spoken. So let the church say amen. God has spoken, God has spoken, so let the church say amen. God has spoken, so let the church say amen. As we're about to leave this place, I, I share this with you for your prayers, not for sympathy. I just ask you to pray for me. Um, physically, it's just been just going and going and going, and my strength has just seemed to be um, not where I want it to be, and that God will give me strength through this week, and especially on Tuesday, that God will give us a word for his people. Amen? Amen. 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 And uh, I know a lot of you are like me who suffer with these allergies and whatnot, uh, seem like the pollen is loose all over the place and so uh, I'm so hoarse today and my eyes and nose are running and it's because of these allergies but keep us in your prayers would you do that yeah. amen that God will give us strength through this week so we might do what needs to be done have a blessed day amen. Yeah.